guys hi guys welcome back to this channel it makes from the next creation and yet in another video and what are we going to try to look up in this video we are going to look at what you call running away or run away people run away for example here in Qatar we have what you call the runaways run away you run away from your employer using his ID or under his visa for example you may get tired of this employer and you want to run away using what you call his visa and his cut ID yes this one, I'm telling you, brother, they are going to search for you, they are going to look for you. Once you look away, once you run away from that company with a valid ID and that visa is under your, your former employer, this person is going to file a case on you in the ministry or it's going in Metrash, actually, for people of the Metrash, you know what you call follow and search. Why does this person, uh, why does this person take uh, take a case against you to avoid what you call extra penalties one way or the other. So sometimes it's not very good for people who are planning to run away if you are going to run away with someone's visa in one way or the other. They will penalties and definitely when you are being caught by police then definitely the only way that you'll have is to get what you call deportation in one way or the other. And some companies um, uh, most of the time once they run, once you definitely run away from their company with their ID they will cancel out your visa in one one way or the other. That is if you're so lucky that they can cancel out your visa and they can let you move in one way or the other. Remember, overstays here in country, overstays in Qatar here and uh, uh, deportations are punishable by, by fines and you may end up getting that fine. So definitely for the company to try to, 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 to put a case on you on runaway, it is trying to prevent itself from being violated by the government itself. And something that you need to, to let you know that overstays here and uh, overstays here for example, if your residence and your ID or you've overstayed, each day you stay in Qatar is worth 10 real. That is if, if you on what you call a company visa, every, day, if you, uh, every time you overstay in the country, then probably that is what you call 10 real. And if you're on a freelancer visa, any overstay still is 10 real. So that is what you need to understand that once your ID expires out after the gross period, yes, it can it can be cancelled, it can be, be, remember, you have three months gross period to go out of Qatar. Once your ID has been cancelled or once your ID has expired. After those three months, which is the gross period, then definitely you expect that will be an overstay. And that overstay, you'll be paying 10 Qatarian each single day, each single day that you stay in the country. If you are a resident or you 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 on a freelancer visa or you on a company visa, you you before the company visa. That is what you're supposed to pay for people who are visiting the visitors or what you call the visit visa for each overstay here in Qatar is two hundred Qatar. I hope I'm right, and that is definitely what it charges you. But I remember what you need to to to, to what you need to have to, to know that. Uh, it's always not very good to run away from the company with someone's valid ID because definitely if even if you run away, he will put what you call a fall and search on you and definitely you will not be able to be happy also where you are living in one way or the other. And once police gets you in one way or the other, then definitely they will have to deport you and take you back to your country. For the women, it is even worse. Yes. For, for a man or for a gentleman or if you're a man, you can, your ID can get off during the gross period and you maybe got a police, but unlikely you may not be repatriated back. But for ladies, it's even worse because once they get your ideas or expired and you're still in the country, no, they don't want you to indulge yourself into other dubious activity, then they definitely let you uh, uh, know. What I have to let you know that the Gulf countries now things are not the same, things have completely changed out in one way or the other. We've seen a lot of deportations, uh, we've seen a lot of people being repatriated back to their countries in Dubai and also. Qatar is trying to get, uh, you know, it's FIFA World Cup and we definitely cannot rule out such kind of things. Definitely will be asking. I know everywhere you have to go, I think it's better you move with all your ID or move with your permit or residence permit uh, or your, your visa or valid visa in one way or the other because whatever you have checkpoints, they will keep, they will require out of you and definitely you cannot prove out that you have the ID then definitely the only option they will have you is to take you back to your country. So those are some things that normally happens in, in one way or the other but you remember, uh, don't run away with someone's visa and definitely you, you definitely know overseas are also here in Qatar so definitely it's World Cup and there's a lot of things that are going to be happening especially you need to have your ID with you all the time hope I've tried to share something for you thanks so much see you again in the next video it's Max from the next creation